Hello everybody, this is the third video of the Easy Calculus. Now, uh, last video, we talked about the meaning of limit, what the, this limit is. We quickly review that and see what this epsilon delta logic is. And this is typically what you learn in a college when you learn the calculus again. Uh, uh, to refine the understanding of the uh, calculus the high school I don't think they teach it but uh, let's push this uh, further so that you understand completely what limit means and then you never question whole your life okay so as you know this derivative function is given by this and in the previous video we did this uh, f x plus delta x if if f x equals a x square then this gonna be f uh, let's see a x plus delta x square minus a x square right so it's going to be 2a x delta x plus a delta x square okay now you divide by this so the derivative is limit and delta x going to the zero um, you divide by delta x so you 2ax plus a delta x okay so this one you make delta x very small it said very small close to zero it doesn't say delta x is zero that means this is bigger than 2ax right it's never become 2ax and we explain that on the uh, real number line the number next to 2 can be 2 plus and this side can be 2 minus right what 2 plus 2 plus is larger than 2 right but any number you can point out specifically around 2 like 2.0000001 is still bigger than 2 plus so obviously this is if you take this only okay still bigger than 2ax hmm how do you fix this problem right and that's why in the, the previous video we said okay the limit means we convert this into the real number by taking this this portion out okay how do you do that well it's kind of obvious right because delta x goes to zero then this probably goes away then become 2ax so if you say limit then 2ax this is reasonable acceptable in fact the all the mathematicians and the physicians using algebra this way until one day one smart mathematician the smart ass uh, yeah he said this is a problem problem because it lacks the accuracy of mathematics the he said number one well you say if 2 plus is 2 plus delta x the proof 2 plus could be 2 plus delta x square okay so this 2 plus and 2 plus is the different 
the two different things. Okay. No matter how small delta x is different, this is not equal. No matter how small delta x zero is, two different value become the single two. When you do this, how can it be? No matter how close delta x goes zero, it's different. But you're saying, okay, this become to the same value. So this going to the zero is infinite operation, and infinite concept of infinite cause a lot of contradiction, a lot of fallacy, and one time mathematicians argue so much and they hate it. We shouldn't use infinite, the word infinite, because a lot of this kind of things happen. Okay. Second reason is this case is kind of obvious, but there is a non-obvious case like f x equals how about this? Okay. Then the f x plus delta x minus f x. And delta x become like x plus delta x minus x one divided by delta x, right? Okay. Now this will be x plus delta x and x x minus. X minus delta x, right? Over delta x. So it's going to be this cancel out minus one x plus delta x and x. Okay. Now you do this. Well, it's supposed to go negative one x square, right? If this is zero, it kind of tell, but it's getting less obvious, okay? And you can make it more complicated cases and become less obvious. You did exercise, right? Limit complex. Uh, function find this one right but you have to do manipulate equation and find out see what come out so it's not that obvious you, you're kind of guessing okay this goes to zero then this become probably zero then this become this way and the guessing is not the good things in the math actually guessing is good things but rely on guessing is not good things. So this smart mathematician said, we call this two plus is uh, infinitesimal number, right? It's number that is uh, close to another number two infinitely, right? Infinitely here infinitely it's close and this kind of number concept with the infinite word in it the mathematician said if you bring this in it's going to be disaster so this guy came up with this um, limit delta x and a delta x right and if you take this one this become infinitesimal number okay so instead of using the infinitesimal number he said well this number 
is equivalent to 2ax. If you take any small number epsilon and 2ax plus a delta x minus 2 2ax. This is a target value. This is infinitesimal number. If this difference become smaller than epsilon, what is epsilon? Any. You tell me any small number, okay? Don't tell me the number that is infinitely close or something. You just say, quote any. Okay. Quote any, 2.0000001, whatever you quote, okay? We can do this target value and this value. The difference becomes less than epsilon. Okay? This is a larger if. If uh, by by making delta x this is we call delta very small okay so can you do that say if strong 2 a delta uh, 2 uh, say delta is 2 a x uh, plus 0 0.00001 okay very close to this target value okay can you make it smaller yeah sure by choosing this delta small okay very small i can always make this the difference between target and this value smaller than any number you quote okay so you use this epsilon here and delta here so if you can satisfy this then you can say this is the same as 2ax and that's what limit means And this mathematician explained the meaning of limit later after the people use limit so much. Okay? You guys didn't know what it really means. You are using it, using guess. That's not good. This, there's no room for guess because there's no number in this process like infinitesimal number like something infinitely close to something there is none okay so it's very clear the logic is for any given epsilon for any given epsilon you can do this the difference between this value and target less than epsilon by making a delta small. Okay, so the the later you can modify the delta, the recipro reciprocal value is large. So by making delta large, but whatever if delta going infinite then making large delta goes zero by making delta small right so you can always do that then I proved this value and this value is same after you do this okay the proof is if you think there is a difference this value and this very difference you give me the difference which is epsilon I can make it smaller than epsilon by moving this delta a little bit more 
that means I can always make make this target this value closer to target and it's like the kids argument like what is the largest number in this world you give me okay uh, one trillion of trillion of trillion then I say oh I can make larger trillion of trillion of trillion plus one how's that okay it's exactly same idea okay the infinite means you cannot quote and here it said give me number quote me number if wrong I can make the difference smaller than this if wrong by adjusting Delta well that's called epsilon delta very famous epsilon delta logic so infinitely close number is translated into specific number we know the real number you specify number then we can do this okay so this is a proof any number you specify I can make the difference smaller that means th those are the same number the limit means find equivalent number which is this guy and this guy by showing the difference is small how small infinitely small no you say it's smaller than epsilon and epsilon you tell me you quote me the number epsilon any number you quote me i can make it smaller okay so that's the way you deal with infinite the concept of infinite so this become more solid logic to talk about limit this formula right so finally we know derivative function is okay by limit and delta x okay let's make a similar before we finish this video say you have a rabbit and rabbit jump half of a distance to the wall in one second okay and rabbit jump another half to the remaining distance in one quarter second and the rabbit jump another half of the remaining distance by one eighth second so how long does it take for rabbit to reach the wall right so s is something like one plus over plus right is it right and to n n is one two well actually you eliminate this n is zero to infinite so that's a series right so answer is s so what do you do well what you do is you multiply uh, one half see what's happened so say instead of writing this way let's write this way one plus plus two to plus right so sn 
Sn is right okay now you you subtract uh, sn 1 minus 1 over 2 equals 1 and this portion is same as this so minus 1 2 plus 1 right and if n is infinite it's reached to some target number right okay so let's do this s n n is infinite is going to be this 2 so 2 1 minus 2 n plus 1 so this gonna be the answer right but this is infinitesimal number here's a uh, a uh, small number target I will say limit n equals infinite sn is going to be 2 why because if you make it this difference sn minus 2 epsilon I can make it any small number when n is larger n is larger this guy if n is larger it's get smaller and smaller close to 2 so instead of delta this gonna be epsilon delta logic right by adjusting n any number you quote, the difference becomes smaller. That means this number, this number, this number is equivalent to 2 when you declare limit. Okay, so finally, limit n infinite sn equals 2. So rabbit takes two seconds to reach here to the wall. Okay. So you see how you use epsilon delta logic? Okay. Yeah, well, you know, I can kind of guess when n is large, this is gonna go out go out. That's okay that's infinitesimal numbers you convert into the regular number okay but mathematically speaking you cannot say oh when this goes close this should go close to this kind of argument is you are arguing by guess right according to this uh, famous great mathematician you cannot use cross infinitely kind of things you you quote a number and I said you quote a number I can quote you better number and that's a way to deal with infinite so epsilon delta logic is converting this infinitesimal number problem into yes you quote number I can do better kind of logic and this is the proof you cannot beat me by quoting number because I can always beat you so that's a proof that I'm right that number is two I hope you get it okay so that's a way the great mathematician prove rabbit will reach to the wall within two seconds otherwise you cannot say oh yeah uh, it's going to be 2 minus 1 over 2 
to the nth uh, time and n can go forever very large well what if yeah something change happened while you know rabbit is jumping half distance over and over right well you're guessing well so so it has to be very accurate you, you cannot you know use the guess by saying infinitely close and stuff okay that's what mathematician want and that's the reason why they don't teach this kind of number in high school infinitesimal number infinitesimally close infinitesimally small number they don't teach because actually definition is kind of vague very close yeah I mean as I said 2 plus delta x is very close when delta cross is going zero what 2 to the delta x square is very close which one is it? it doesn't matter okay so this is about Ipsilon uh, delta logic. It's very famous in the calculus. So you have to have at least the knowledge about this. Okay, if you like this uh, video, please subscribe and hit I like button. So we are going to move on to clear everything, every question you have in the calculus in this series of video. So you don't, you don't feel uneasy, you don't feel confused, you don't feel, ah, yeah, I took calculus, I hate it. Wipe out this feeling. Okay? So see you next video.